In this video, I'm going to show you how to record and pay your HST GST return in QuickBooks after it has been filed with CRA. So when it comes to filing your HST GST in QuickBooks, there's actually two main steps that you have to worry about. The first step is actually filing your HST GST with the government or with CRA. The second step is recording that HST GST return in QuickBooks. So right now what we have here is a sample company um, that we're going to use to file our HST GST return. I'm just going to show you the steps that are involved with in QuickBooks and it's assumed that you already know the steps that are needed to file it with CRA. So before we actually file within QuickBooks, we have to generate the reports that are needed to file with CRA. And there are two main reports that would need to do this. So right now I'm going to go into our report section to show you this. So we click reports on the side panel. And the two main reports that we need are the balance sheet and the GST HST summary report. So the first report that I'm going to show you in here is the balance sheet. Um, so I'm going to open this in a new tab and the second report, if you scroll all the way down, is the GST HST summary report, which is right here. And what I'm going to do now is change the, uh, the date to the filing period that I'm filing for. So in this case, it's November 21st, 2021 to December 31st, 2021. Click Chrome report, and I'll do the same thing for the HST GST summary and it's going to be for November 21st 2021 to December 31st 2021 and I'm going to click run report now what we have to do is match the numbers on this report to the num to each other so in the balance sheet, what we're looking for is the GST HST payable. You see that here is $255.95. And in the summary report, we should have the same number, $255.95. Now, if these two numbers match, it means that everything has been reconciled and we actually go to file the GST HST um, with CRA using this report. Okay, so this report tells you which line items that you need to fill in and the amounts that you need to fill for each line item. If the number here and the number on your balance sheet does not match, it means you have to do a little bit of troubleshooting. And that could mean that there are previous payments or previous filings that you haven't applied to the statements. Um, Maybe you have received a refund that has not yet been applied to the statement. Um, maybe your filing period is wrong and you need to change it to the correct period. There could be a number of issues. If you need help with this, I suggest hiring a bookkeeper to do this for you. Or you could end up really messing up your HST, HST GST report if there's an audit and you're not able to match the numbers to your balance sheet, it can be a big red flag to the CRA. Okay, so if you need help with this, make sure that you book a free consultation call with us at paperlessbooks.ca and we should be able to help you. So let's say you have already filed your HST GST with CRA. You now have to record the filing with in QuickBooks okay and so to do that we have to go into our taxes window so obviously this is assuming that you've already set up your taxes in here um, you have to be able to do that to pull those reports that I just showed you and we can see here that we have um, a period that is ready to file so in this case, the period that is ready to be filed is November 21st to December 31st, 2021. All we're going to do is, is press prepare return. And the window is going to come up 
sort of similar to the window that you fill out in your CRA um, account, right? The things that we're checking for in this window is the end date, the date that we actually filed the HST GST return. Um, and we're making sure that the numbers here match what we actually filed with the CRA accounts. In this case, we're going to say they do. And all we have to do is click mark as filed and then click continue. So once you do that, you be presented with this window. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to record a payment now or record a payment later. Um, if you made the payments immediately after you filed, you could record the payments now. If you plan on making the payments at a later time, you could record the payment later. Let's assume we record the payment now. What I'm going to do is click record payments. So in this case, the payment that we made is $255.95. Um, that is fine. The payment day we made, let's say it's May 7th, and then we're going to click record payments. Okay. I don't know what this window is, so I'm just going to close it. Okay. QuickBooks is acting weird. Okay. So now we can see that the payments has been recorded. It is in the back system. So you won't see the payments um, manually, but it's recorded as a journal entry. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's recorded right here, okay? Okay, so it looks like there's something wrong with QuickBooks but rest assured that the payment is in the system. What's going to happen is once the payment is taken out of your bank account, so what's going to happen is once the payment is taken out of your bank account, let's just say we made the payments on, uh, Let's say uh, February 21st, 2021. Let's say this was the payment. It was $255.95. What's going to happen is uh, QuickBooks is going to match that payment to the payment that we recorded here. And all you have to click is add once you see that match green sort of um, button pop up. But you have to click is click add and that's the end of you recording your hst gst within quickbooks okay now if you don't see the transaction where you where you have to click you just have to click add could be a bunch of reasons it could be that when you recorded um, the payments you may have recorded it in the wrong account so in that case, you might have to redo the payment again on this screen and then change um, the payment accounts that you chose to take the payment from. Um, and in that case, you click delete and then redo the payment again in the tax screen. Um, another reason could be that it is actually a refund. Um, so let's say in our case we got a refund uh, it will show in the received side and we want to make sure that we click match on the received side okay so those are two main things that may come up for you not to be able to match the payment that comes within your bank to the payment that you recorded in the GST HST tax module Okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you for this lesson. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more tutorials about QuickBooks and how to use QuickBooks, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you need help with bookkeeping, payroll, and taxes within Canada, 
please be sure to visit our website at paperlessbooks.ca and book a free consultation call with us. That's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.